everyone today we will discuss about reservation tdma okay this reservation tdma is also comes under tdma time division multiple access okay this is also one of the scheme under tdma okay the this is one of the last scheme under tdma and it is a uh, fixed pattern that allows some random access which is exhibited by reservation TDMA. So in this method what happens means some mini slots will be there. Okay. This mini slots is again divided into n into k data slots. Okay. In one n mini slot n into k data slots will be there which will form as a frame and that frame is repeated continuously okay so if you observe in the diagram in the red box that is the mini slot that is one of the mini slots okay so in that red box if you observe some six lines are there okay one two three four five six okay total red box is a mini slot and that red box is again divided into six slots those are called data slots means n into k data slots means each and every box in the each and every line which is there in the red box will be having two data slots okay means in one mini slots totally 6 into 2 data slots will be there means 12 data slots so one mini slot contains 12 data slots and in that one mini slot 6 data slots are there and this 6 data slots contains 2 to data slots okay each and every small box in mini slot contains 2 data slots okay so one line one check box in the red box contains two data slots one blue slot and one white slot okay that is one slot under mini slot okay so here every time if you say mini slot means that mini slot contains n into k data slots okay so here one one mini slot is allocated with two data slots okay so that mini slot can use two data slots it can access those two data slots okay so you can ask me like why it is represented with blue color and white color okay sometimes what happens means if at all a mobile station want to use the data slot that time it will access the data slot within one data slot if it gets completed sending the data then remaining data slot is kept free means that extra data slot is not needed for mobile station though it has allocated with two data slots so that time that vacant data slot can be used by other mobile stations so that is why it is represented with blue and white color okay blue color represents that their data transmission is going on that slot has been used and white data slot is represented that represents that it is vacant means no mobile station is using that data slot so that is why it is free so now other mobile station can use this free data slots at any time okay but all the stations which want which uh, wanted to use this this free data slot have to access that free data slot using round robin scheme okay so if you observe in the diagram under red box total six checks are there 
six, uh, six checks will contain two two data slots and in first data slot only one slot has been used in second data slot two data slots are used in third one no data slot is used in fourth one only one data slot is used in fifth one two data slots are used in sixth one again two data slots are used and this frame of n mini slots will be repeated again and again so that is why after 6 n into k data slots again mini slot is repeated that's why again red color box came again okay and again red color box will contain 6 checks which will represent n into k data slots okay this is how will work this reservation tdma always guarantees every station with certain bandwidth and fixed delay so each and every data slots will be having its own bandwidth and also its own fixed delay means it can use any number of data slots which are allotted to it if data slot are not sufficient then it has to go it has to again access another data slot if data slot is sufficient it is enough then it can use only one data slot and it can leave remaining data slot for other mobile stations other stations can now send data in unused data slots so it is not important that every mobile station have to use two data slots at any cost because they are allotted to single mobile station it is not important it can use only one data slot or it can use two data slots if it is using two data slots then it is okay if it is not using two data slots if it is using only one data slot then remaining data slot which is kept free that data slot can access the accessed by remaining mobile stations using these free slots can be based on the simple round robin scheme or it can be a uncoordinated aloha scheme okay any aloha scheme which we have discussed earlier can be used to access that remaining data slot and this scheme also allows the combination of a synchronous traffic with fixed bit rates and best effort traffic without any guarantees okay no traffic is seen no collision is seen and fixed bit rates will be the, uh, there which will give you the separate uh, bandwidth and fixed delay so this is also one of the best scheme under tdma this is called reservation tdma it follows fixed pattern that allows random access which is exhibited by reservation tdma okay so the next one is cdma code division multiple okay. this is the last scheme under this uh, uh, mobile ips okay so this uh, cdma code division multiple access system is always depends on the code frequency and time this is very simple because it uh, accesses the slots or transmits the data based on the code a separate code is defined to transmit the data from source to the destination this is all about cdma and cdma is given as assignment for you comparison okay as CDM is given as an assignment, I will go with the comparison of all SDMA, TDMA, FDMA and CDMA. We have discussed all these schemes. Space division multiple access, frequency division multiple access, time division multiple access and code division multiple access. In all these four schemes, time division multiple access is having many more schemes under it okay so now we will look at the comparison 
idea what is the idea first in sdma segments its space into cells and sectors means it gives separate space to each and every mobile station whereas in tdma it segments sending time into disjoint time slots demand driven or fixed patterns based on the time it uh, transmits the data it will be having separate time slots and fixed patterns and in fdma the idea is it segments the frequency band means according to the frequency it has to tune to the frequency of the receiver like that it will follow the frequency that is the idea of the fdma whereas in cdma it spreads the spectrum using orthogonal codes a separate code is defined to transmit the data from source to the destination without collision that separate code is given to source and destination only no remaining mobile station uh, will access that because that code is known by only source and destination if you read code division multiple access then you will understand it clearly and next terminals how many terminals it use what is uh, how it uh, uses the terminals only one terminal can be active in one cell in sdma because a separate space is provided here in sdma so that is the reason only one terminal will be active in tdma all terminals will be active for short periods of time on the same frequency here frequency is same as time is provided to every mobile station here no collision will take place so that is why all terminals will be active in tdma whereas in fdma every terminal has its own frequency so it will be having uninterrupted data transmission so a separate frequency is provided here so no collision will be taking place whereas in cdma all terminals can be active at the same place at the same moment at the same frequency also because here a code is given and that code is known to only source and destination so that is why all uh, terminals can be active no problem in it and the third one is signal separation in sdma it is like cell structure and directed antennas will be there a separate cell structure will be there for each and every mobile station because separate space because of separate space and directed antennas will be there which will provide proper transmission of data in tdma synchronization is done with the signal separation based on the time domain here in tdma in fdma it filters the frequency domain with the help of signal separation in cdma code plus special receivers will be there like uh, code uh, like uh, first a code is given and that code is transmitted to the destination and this destination mobile station can unlock the code and can access the data advantages the next one is advantages the advantages in sdma is it is very simple to apply and it also increases the capacity per kilometer square okay this uh, um, space uh, space or uh, distance is very important in sdma the advantages of tdma is it is very well established organized and it is fully digital and fully flexible okay because in time division multiple access many more schemes are there which will help together and will uh, help in uh, transmission of data the advantages of fdma is it is also very simple to access and it is also very well established and it is robust okay anyone can use it and uh, um, any number of mobile stations can access this fdma and the advantages of cdma is it is flexible and less frequency planning is needed because code is there 
so code is not accessed by every mobile station only two mobile stations will be uh, known the code so that is why it is uh, less frequency is needed and it is a soft handover handover will take place between only two mobile stations and between two foreign agents so that is why soft handovers will be performed here coming to the disadvantages sdma it is inflexible and antennas are typically fixed uh, if separate space is given to each and every mobile station then antennas also will be separated to each and every mobile station so that is why we have to check everything there in tdma the disadvantages are guard spaces are needed so this guard spaces sometimes creates a problem of fixed delay so that is why this is considered as disadvantages and synchronization is difficult okay because of time and because of many alohas some the synchronization will be difficult disadvantages of fdma it is also inflexible frequencies are a scarce resource because here as frequency it depends on the frequency and this frequency have to tune to the receiver and sender so that is why separate separate frequencies are given and these separate separate frequencies have to be monitored every time so that becomes an disadvantage the disadvantages of cdma is complex receivers will be there and it needs more complicated power control for senders because sender have to define the code and receivers have to find out the way to unlock the code finally the comments over all these multiple access schemes are for sdma it works on, well only with the combination of tdma fdma or cdma okay so uh, separately you cannot implement sdma and for tdma a standard in fixed networks or it can be processed or accessed together with FD, fdma sdma and F, fdma is it is combined with tdma many hopping techniques are used here and also sdma if at all it uh, wanted to use the frequency again and the comment over cdma is it faces some problems higher complexity will be there lowered expectations and will be integrated with tdma and fdma though it is using tdma and fdma it still have a problem with some uh, complexity like it it faces some problems with higher complexity okay this is about the comparison of sdma tdma fdma and cdma okay this is all about multiple access scheme under medium access control these are all schemes sdma tdma fdma and cdma all will come under medium access control okay thank you